Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm gonna to be talking about neonatal hypoglycemia. I'm going to include the risk population group, interventions, and how to treat it. My name is Christina, nurse practitioner. Let's get started. Newborn hypoglycemia is defined as a blood sugar of less than 45 milligrams per deciliter. So for the population of newborn babies that you wanna keep on your radar is if the mother had diabetes, if the mother has hypertension and has been treated with medications such as metoprolol or tibutaline, if the baby had sepsis or the baby had some form of hypoxic event, that would also be considered as part of your population. In addition to that, um, as far as the growth of the baby, so if the baby is a late preterm between the weeks of 35 four to 36 weeks plus six days, they would be part of that population as well. If they are large for gestational age, which is greater than the 90th percentile, or if they are small for gestational age, which is less than the 10th percentile, would be part of your population that you want to keep in your radar. Also, for the mother that may have used substance abuse, such as drugs during her pregnancy, you definitely want to keep that baby in your radar for a hypoglycemic event. For assessment findings with your newborn baby, you may see that they have some tremors, they may be a little jittery, a high-pitched cry, or an exaggerated moral reflex. These are reasons to want to check for hypoglycemia. Also, if they have lethargy, um, hypotonia, which is like a decreased muscle tone, or if they have some poor feeding or a poor suck, that's also a clue and indication of hypoglycemia. So your newborn baby that is born that falls under the glucose monitoring algorithm, you're gonna to wanna to check that blood glucose 30 minutes after the first feed or within two hours of birth. So whichever one comes first. And then thereafter, the newborn baby should be fed um, every two to three hours, okay? So some babies are gonna need their blood glucose to be checked. So your newborn baby's blood glucose should be checked 30 minutes after the first feed or within the first two hours of birth, so whichever comes first. And then thereafter, the baby needs to be fed every two to three hours. I also want you to keep in mind if the baby is um, going to be fed formula, you want to make sure that you get um, a doctor's order or an NP's order. Okay, to be covered. So then um, babies that fall under the 12 hour versus the 24 hour blood glucose checks, it varies. And it varies based off of um, IDM. So babies that are infants of diabetic mothers, their blood glucose will be checked for the first 12 hours of birth versus, um, or you're large for gestational age their blood glucose will be checked for 12 hours in duration. 24 hour blood sugar checks will be um, your late preterm, so it's less than 37 weeks, okay? Or your small for gestational age group as well. And the last three blood glucose checks should at least be greater than 45 milligrams per deciliter. And 45 milligrams per deciliter is your standard for a normal blood glucose reading for a newborn. And when you check the glucose, let's say doing those AccuCheck, so this is a baby's heel, okay, and these are the little toes. I am not the best drawer here. However, this is not my favorite thing to do is pricking the baby. But at the bottom of the hill, you're going to you're going to lance the baby on the sides and whenever I use a lancet, I always I never use the full term lancet. I always use the preterm lancet just to be nice and kind. I always avoid 
this area in the center because you can cause um, nerve damage. So always go here or here. Okay, so let's talk about treatment. So treatment for babies. So if they were to have a low blood sugar, which we'll go into detail right now, um, you're going to treat the baby with 40% dextrose gel, okay? And this is going to be administered um, via the uh, buccal mucosa. So before administering it, you want to dry the um, inner cheek with a dry like two by two gauze. And then you're going to administer one fourth of the dose in the inner cheek with a gloved finger and rub it against the wall of the cheek so that way it absorbs um, effectively. And you want to make sure that um, you refer to your hospital guideline policy as far as administration safe dose. However, it can vary. So it's, in, it's weight based, so it's gonna go off of the baby's birth weight. And I mean, it can vary from um, 1500 grams to let's say, um, you know, 5,500 grams. So that dose can vary, the dextrose dose can vary from 0 0.75 mils to as much as um, 2.5 mils and this is about 0 0.5 mils per kilo okay and it'll be an ordered dose by your um, provider you never ever want to exceed no more than three doses within 24 hours so let's talk about parameters so let's say so golden obviously is you want the baby's blood glucose to be 45 and what does that mean for you that means that you want to encourage the mom to be breastfeeding or feeding um, formula um, every two to three hours ah two to three hours okay or on demand versus if let's say you have a blood glucose and it is between 35 to 44, what are you going to do? So for the baby that is not responsive and they are on the regular OB floor, you're going to obviously notify um, the healthcare provider, whether it's the MD, um, or the nurse practitioner, and then most likely um, this baby will be routed to NICU and for um, you know IV um, dextrose medication. However, let's say for the baby that is responsive, so the baby that is responsive, so they are awake and they're alert and they are able to feed, you are going to um, want to repeat the test, so make sure that it's actually accurate. So repeat test, and then treatment of choice is the dextrose gel. And then you will, after, encourage feeding the baby, and then you want to reassess and recheck within the hour or based on doctor's recommendations. However, let's say that your blood glucose was in the 34 range. That is very low. So you definitely want to notify your healthcare provider and then, um, you know, definitely plan for um, transfer to NICU and consider most likely they're going to be doing the IV dextrose um, for baby. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for upcoming notifications. Take care.